have one story in which I talked to a, an owner of a company, okay? And this owner of the company, he had, his safety committee was himself and his two foremen. And I said, well, you really need to get, you know, your people involved. And he said, this is my company. This is my organization. I'm taking the financial risk. So in that particular aspect, no, I don't want them to have a say within my organization. So then if I tell you that in this particular case, uh, this individual almost had 100% turnover every two years, what would that indicate to you guys? Kind of goes to that engagement piece again, doesn't it? So if he doesn't want their input, if he doesn't want their interaction with things, where does that kind of put you guys? You know, where does, your, where does that put your employees? And so that's where it kind of comes into the safety committee discussion. This is uh, an individual, this is his uncle that, uh, and this is not, I just put the picture in there because this, he was talking about his uncle, but his uncle had this saying that said, he said, I worked for this company for 35 years, they hired me from the neck down, and they could have had the rest if they had just asked. Meaning that, you know, how many organizations have you heard about, in, about this in the past? They're just hiring warm bodies, right? Isn't that, that, that's the old phrase. I just need warm body. I just need someone to fill the position. That's all I'm looking for, okay? But you're not gonna have engagement if that's what you're doing. If all you're doing is having warm bodies to do a particular task and that's all you're expecting from them, then that's all you're gonna get from them as well. You're not gonna get that engagement that we just talked about where we wanna have people more involved. We want them thinking through their processes and those kind of things, and that's where it's important for us to kind of connect these two things to say, you know, really employee engagement, one of the best things you can do within your organization is have a well-run safety committee that really involves both management and your employees, okay? So if you don't have that, you're really missing out on one of the great opportunities, one of the great tools that you can use, okay? One of the things is, we, we just talked about that big picture. Sometimes you need to take the detailed person, pull them back, and give them the big picture again, right? What sometimes do we need to understand about management, especially top management? What kind of a picture do they have all the time? They just have that big picture again, right? But what aren't they focusing on? They don't know the details, do they? Nor do they need to know the details necessarily because that's where every level of supervision and the frontline workers, that's their concern is those details. So when you're out here and you're trying to manage the big picture, you don't have that microscopic look on what those details may look like, but if you're trying to formulate programs and ideas and plans and stuff to move forward, and if you don't have that input from those people that are dealing with the details, how accurate of a plan are you gonna have or how, how good of a program are you gonna have unless you have that input, okay? So for management, it creates a foundation of culture. It gives you an opportunity to have, um, you know, to, to build that culture that you wanna see within your workplace because culture involves all of us. It isn't just management saying that that's what they want, they have to actually get people engaged and involved in that particular process to move forward to have that culture that we want. Communication with the workers. How great is this to actually have a meeting to where we sit down and that's all we're discussing. We're not talking money, we're not talking anything else other than how can we make our organizational safer. Does this not give you an opportunity to challenge those employees? For instance, you were talking about your employees being kind of feeling bored and, and separated and this is all I'm doing. You give them an opportunity to get involved with the bigger piece of the pie, they get, they get some input, they get, they get to talk about things, but it brings them in, it challenges those workers to step outside of that box and to actively engage the, the, the company again. It promotes that engagement, it fosters that peer interaction because now not only are they working with their peers, but sometimes those peers are in other departments and management from other departments, and it gives them input of, across the vaster portion of your organization, and again, taps into that knowledge base that we just talked about. 